Hey everybody, I hope everybody's still safe and healthy and um, keeping busy at home. So we have a, another fun video for you today. Today Miss Diane is here to do a food activity. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you all soon. Take it away Miss Diane. Hey guys, it's Miss Diane from Kidstop. I can't wait to see all your faces again come hopefully May. It's been really hard um, not seeing everybody on a weekly basis and I miss you guys all so much. Hope you're all staying healthy keeping busy, helping your parents out, and getting outside for some activity and uh, fresh air. So today's activity is a very simple cooking activity that I think you can all participate in. Some of you might need to get uh, some help from your parents, but it's very, very easy and only requires some very simple ingredients that most people have in their household already and only requires a simple cleanup because you're only using a mug, any type of size mug you want to use. I chose a oversized mug because I am actually going to triple the batch so that you guys can actually get a good visual of what it's going to look like. You don't have to triple the batch. You could just do a single batch. And the recipe for this um, activity will be located in the video. So you can just do the regular recipe, which is just a single batch. Again, I'm just doing uh, the triple batch because I have a big mug and um, I wanted to show visually what it was going to look like. So this is called a microwave strawberry pup tot in a mug and it's exactly what it says. We're going to be making something that tastes just like a pup tart. Now you can use whatever jam you like. I prefer raspberry so I'm using a raspberry jam but you can pick whatever you want. Grape, strawberry, uh, marmalade, anything. Whatever your favorite pup tart is that's what you can use. So to begin with you're going to want to get your supplies. I am doing this um, not in my kitchen and um, somewhere else. I'm at Central Office in North Andover. So I brought all my supplies already pre-measured out. So I'll just be dumping them right into my mug. So first things first, you want to make sure your mug is microwavable. A lot of times it will say it on the bottom. Um, you can kind of do a little test run in the microwave just to make sure your parents probably would be able to help you out with that. But most mugs are microwavable because you usually heat things up in them. So that shouldn't be a problem. So you need your microwavable mug. You need a good size spoon. You need a teaspoon, I'm sorry, tablespoon for measuring. Again, mine's all pre-measured, but these are just the things that you're going to need. If you were to triple the batch, it's a little easy to also have a quarter cup because um, all of the ingredients are based on table size measurements. And if you were tripling the batch, the flour is the one that becomes um, the biggest amounts. So they're basically four tablespoons in a quarter cup. So it's easier to kind of scoop it out that way, but that's only if you're tripling the batch. If you're using just the single batch amount, you can just get away with a tablespoon. So you have your mug, your big spoon for mixing, your tablespoon. You're going to need softened butter. That does not mean melted. It just means softened. And you can soften it in the microwave. You don't have to wait to have it sit on the counter. You would just put it in, depends on your microwave, I would say about 10 seconds because you don't want it to melt. If it melts a little bit, you just kind of stir it and it should be fine. I have, whoops, I have my sugar pre-measured, my milk, my flour, my jam, and I actually made my own frosting because I didn't have any in the house. Um, if you have some in the house, just use canned frosting. If you don't, um, we will also include a very simple recipe on how to make your own homemade frosting. Very, very easy. It only uh, requires a few ingredients. I only had Christmas sprinkles in my house, but um, as you know, pup tots are usually kind of more um, uh, multicolored. Um, but you can use whatever sprinkles, it doesn't really matter, they pretty much all taste the same and you don't have to put sprinkles, that's if you want to top it on um, after the icing. So we're going to get started. So I'm going to take my bowl and the recipe first calls for mixing the sugar and the butter together. So you're going to pour your sugar into the bowl, you're going to scoop your butter into the bowl, or mug I should say, you're going to mix it as best you can. until all the sugar and the butter is mixed together. And by the way, I made this at home and I tasted it. It tastes just like a pop tart. 
It's awesome. I think you guys will really, really like it. And again, such easy cleanup. That's why I liked this recipe. You don't even need to wash a bowl. You're only washing a mug and a couple of utensils. Okay, so mine looks good and mixed. So once that is all mixed up, the next thing you are going to do is mix in, just making sure I'm following the directions the right way. It's always good to have your directions next to you in case you need to refer to it. Stir in flour in milk. So I'm going to put my butter aside, my sugar container aside because I've used those. I'm going to now stir in the flour and the milk. Again, kind of go a little slowly because the flour tends to kind of fluff up and get all over the place, but if you keep it nice and smooth, you shouldn't have a problem. And it will start to look like your batter for your Pop-Tart. And I probably should have used this bigger spoon because that's why I bought it, brought it rather with me because it's a little easier. So I'm going to use a bigger spoon because again, this is a triple batch. Get it nice and mixed. Make sure there's no dried flour on the sides. Nice and moist. This is the consistency it should be. Okay, so it looks like our batter is ready to go. So the final step before, it's a little sticky, so you might need two utensils like I'm doing to get it off of there. The final step is to kind of mash the batter into the mug, like so, so it's pretty even. And then you're going to uh, create a well in the bottom of the, the uh, batter. And a well is just basically what it says. It's like a, a hole. And as you can probably guess, the jam is going to go in the hole. So this is like your, the inside of the pup tart, just like you buy in the store. So once you get your well made, it should pretty much look like this, because you want that jam to be evenly dispersed in the hole. That's what it should look like. You're gonna take your jam. Again, I use raspberry, because it's my favorite, but you guys can use whatever you want. And you're gonna pour it into the well or the hole. Then what you're going to do, you want to cover that up because you want it to kind of act like a puff tart where the jam or the jelly is inside and not on the outside. So you're going to smooth over the batter on top of the jam. I'm going to show you better image. Here we go. So that you're not really seeing the jam. You're just seeing the batter. So I just keep kind of folding it over. And just so you know, when I did this at home, it pretty much um, stayed inside, but um, because it, the jam does get pretty hot, a little bit will seep out, which is, it all tastes the same, so it doesn't really matter, but you're gonna probably see a little seep out. All right, hold on, the jam's kind of. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure you're kind of getting it covered. All right, so we are ready for the microwave. So this is what it looks like at this point. Now, again, because I tripled the batch, mine is going to take longer. Normally, if you did the single batch, it would be a minute in the microwave. Mine's going to take three minutes. So we're going to put that in now. And um, for you younger students, you might want to ask your parents for a little bit of help with the microwave. Just kind of pop it right in. Again, I'm hitting, oh, I'm hitting three minutes because mine will take longer. Okay, so my microwave has ended. Now, before you open up the microwave and take out your mug, please be, make sure that your mug is not too hot to, hot to touch. So you can ask your parents for help or get um, any type of pot holder or cloth or something like that. I just don't want anybody hurting themselves. So. Um, I have used this mug before. I know that it does not get hot, so I'm able to take mine out on my own. And so now I have my finished Pop-Tart in the mug. 
Um, so what happened with mine is the jam did kind of spread out over the top, which is really not a big deal. Jam's good no matter where it is. So this is how mine looks right now. So I am going to now take, um, so you have a couple options. You can wait a couple minutes for it to cool before you put your icing on it. Um, I found it easier to actually heat my icing up and drizzle it over the top because it's really hard to kind of put, um, if you have the store-bought icing, to spread it with a knife in a mug. So you can take any store-bought icing, pop it in the microwave. This heats up incredibly fast. 10 seconds is probably, you'll see, probably even too much. You only need like maybe seven or eight, depending on how much you have. Heats up and liquefies very quickly, so that it's easy to just drizzle right on top. As you can see, that was 10 seconds and mine's completely melted. I'm gonna give it a little stir. And I'm going to just drizzle mine right on top. Then you don't have to worry about spreading. It kind of flows right off the spoon. Very, very simple. You can move it around with your spoon. The other important thing about this is it the jam is extremely hot. You do not want to eat this right away. I would let it sit five to ten minutes, honestly, before you eat it. I don't want anyone getting burned. Everyone knows how that feels when you burn your mouth with jam. Ouch. And the final stage is going to be to put your topping on. I think I'll pick, so again, it's all Christmassy because that's all I have. You guys put on whatever you want. I'm going to just sprinkle some of these on top. And there is my finished product. It is my pop, pop tart in a mug. Again, very simple. Hardly any mess whatsoever. I have a lot of containers because I put everything in there. I'm going to scoop out a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like. Maybe put some in here. And it is delicious and tastes just like a pop tart. I've had it. It is. It's really, really good. But I'm not going to take a bite right now just because I know it's really hot. I hope you guys enjoyed this activity. I look forward to seeing you guys again in May. Miss all of you so much. Please stay healthy, happy, and busy. See you soon.